Welcome to the fifth Luke tutorial. I'm Jamie Pennebaker and we'll be covering language style matching, or as it's called in the business, LSM. You should now appreciate the difference between the content words in language from those that reflect the style. Content words are generally nouns, adjectives, and regular verbs, such as appreciate, difference, content, etc. They convey the essence of what the speaker is trying to express. Style words are also called function words and include pronouns, prepositions, articles, auxiliary verbs, and other short and common words such as you, should, now, the, etc. Style words reveal the ways that speakers are delivering the message. This tutorial focuses on the measurement of language style. When we compare the language style of two or more people who are talking, we can measure the degree they are connecting with one another. Language style matching then tells us the degree to which two or more people are on the same page when talking with one another, when addressing a common topic, etc. Let's start with an example. Here are two fabricated online dating profiles. You might pause and read them more closely. How well do you think these two will connect with each other? Person A writes, I can't believe I'm doing this. I've had some very good relationships but wasn't ready to commit. I am now. My friends see me as attractive with an outgoing personality, and so forth. Person B writes, I work with an international accounting firm and was married for three years, no children, in excellent condition and own my house. Travel about four times a year, looking for a stable, long-term relationship, etc. Do you think these two people have a future? They match in their interests fairly well, but what about their writing style? Person A is breezy, informal, spontaneous, living in the present and closely linked to others. The second person is much more formal and stiff, specific, psychologically detached and not socially oriented. By using Luke's language style matching feature, we can estimate how similar their language styles are. The LSM program first calculates the rates that these two people use function words. And as you see in the table, we have each person's Luke's function words. Person A uses personal pronouns almost three times more than person B, 18.1% versus 6.5%. Person B uses twice as many articles as A. LSM is calculated by comparing the similarities of the rates of function words between the two people's texts. What you're looking at is just for the analysis of personal pronouns, or PPRON. This same formula will be used for all eight function word categories. And the idea is simple. We're calculating the difference in function words between the two texts and dividing by the sum of the two texts. Actually, it's the absolute difference between the two texts, since we just want to see how far apart the two texts are from each other, irrespective of which text is high or low. Because we divide the difference in the word category by the sum, we always end up with a ratio ranging from 0 to 1.0. In theory, the lower the number, the more similar the language style. But let's make this easier to interpret. By subtracting our calculations from 1.0, we reverse the scale so that a high number now reflects high matching between the two texts. Returning to the table, you can see how LSM works for all eight dimensions of function words. We start with the means of each dimension, and then in the next column, the differences between them. The next column is the sum of persons A and B. After that is the absolute value of dividing the difference by the sum. And the last column subtracts the diff sum number from one. Finally, we average each of these component LSM numbers, which results in an overall score of 0.67. Remember that LSM ranges from zero, extremely low style matching, to 1.0, perfect style matching. For most conversations, the number generally range from 0.83 to 0.94. When comparing standard texts that are not conversations, the numbers are typically lower, usually between 0.75 and 0.88. A number of 0.67 is quite low. I hope these two fictitious people don't start a serious relationship. Frankly, it won't work out. Let's now run the same dating profiles with Luke. We start by clicking on the language style matching tab which takes us to an LSM flow sheet. Click on Compare to Plus Files and then the Select Files tab. I'm selecting the two dating files. Now click on Select Output Types. I'm choosing Pairwise Comparison and the Expanded Output option. And now let's run Luke. 
the LSM between the two people is 0.667, just what we found before. With the expanded output, you see all the function word means that are needed to compute LSM. Now this was just with two texts. Let's expand this to four texts that are very different in style. Hmm, how about poems or song lyrics by some of the most famous writers ever? Again, select multiple files, and you can see that they're already loaded. Elizabeth Barrett Browning's poem, The Weakest Thing, Cardi B's song, Selfish, Selena's Missing My Baby, and Megan the Stallion, Last Week in HTX. This time I'll click Pairwise Comparison and turn off the expanded output. Once LSM is run, you can see each text's LSM with each of the other texts. Browning's 19th century poem in Cardi B had an LSM of 0.71, with Megan the Stallion 0.68, and with Selena 0.57. The highest of all was between Cardi B and Megan the Stallion of 0.80, not surprising. The second highest overall was between Megan and Selena. Note that you can save the results in an Excel or CSV file. Okay, we've now compared the language of dating profiles and poetry and song lyrics. Let's move to transcripts of people talking. How about looking at the first presidential debate between Trump and Biden, hosted by Chris Wallace? Ah, the memories. I've downloaded the raw transcript of the debate directly from the web. You see it's a Word document. Okay, load the transcript file. Now click on the Detect Speakers tab. Luke automatically detects who the speakers are. It was easy in this case because the speakers were all identified by a colon, which you can adjust. Let's go straight to the second output type, pairwise comparison. And now we run it. You will see that everyone is compared with each other. Biden is somewhat more in sync with the host than Trump. But most important, Trump and Biden are highly synchronized with each other, with an amazing LSM score of 0.94. And this brings me to the very meaning of LSM. LSM does not mean the two people like or trust one another. Instead, it's a marker of how closely the two people are paying attention to one another. In a sense, they are both on the same page in the conversation. In watching the debate, it was clear that the two men truly disliked one another, but they were paying very close attention to what the other was saying. One final demonstration concerns transcribed interactions within spreadsheets. I'll be working with Zoom transcripts that have been automatically transcribed by the Zoom program. These have been cleaned up a bit. The next update from Luke 22 will allow for direct transfer of Zoom VTT files into the LSM program. The sample file you are looking at is actually three 20-minute conversations with three different people. Each person talks individually with each of the other two people. To analyze the transcript, click on the select file, enter the column names with group ID, person ID, and the text and then you're ready to run LSM. And here are the results. The first conversation had an LSM of 0.93, but the other two conversations had LSMs of only 0.90. The second two conversations were subtly undermined because one of the participants was of high status. In fact, this led to another interesting discovery about LSM. As always, this has been a very brief overview of LSM. To get a more detailed perspective, go to the www.luke.app and click on the language style matching button. The information there will put a spring in your step. You should be ready for action now. Happy looking.